Hey, what's happening? It's Pete Olson here in uh, beautiful Kalispell, Montana at my home office here at Jackpot Ranch. Great to uh, have you guys, um, for those that come on on this live or wherever you may see it, uh, whether it be Instagram or YouTube, etc., etc. Uh, again, I am Pete Olson. Uh, I am uh, the top money earner globally in my last two companies and uh, coach to students all over the globe that want to be high six-figure earners and uh, rise to the top ranks of their company. So the live today is, uh, it's, it's a good one, a simple one, but something that is so important, how to create unstoppable confidence in network marketing. Now, um, you know, really everything in this industry derives from confidence because if someone has less confidence in this industry, what's going to happen, right? Their daily action is going to lessen, right? And with less work, because they don't have the confidence, much less results. But if the confidence is high, the activity is high. When the activity is high, um, the prospecting and marketing is high. When the prospecting and marketing is high, right, the presentations are high. When the presentations are high, um, you have uh, people that are joining your uh, business and being exposed to your business. Hey, Lance, good to see you. So how to create unstoppable, unstoppable confidence in network marketing. I'm going to give you a, a few things here. And then at the very end, uh, I'm going to give you six tips um, to increase your confidence and skills. And that's something that you'll want to reach out to me personally uh, on Facebook Messenger or Instagram direct message or wherever you're seeing this. And uh, I will get those to you personally. So let's let's get into the first thing. So um, the first thing that you really want to talk about as far as how to create unstoppable confidence is you got to focus on your skills, right? Um, think about anything that you've ever done that you've been confident in, right? Think about anything. Hey, Lori, think about anything at all life-wise that you've been comp you've been competent in. Um, you've had some phenomenal skills that you've developed over time, right? You just didn't start right out there and let's pick basketball and you're an incredible basketball player from day one. You got better and better and better and better as as uh, you went on. You weren't a phenomenal public speaker, right? Um, right from the get-go. I mean, I know my first public speaking experience, I didn't want to come out from behind the podium, right? I was, I was terrified. I was terrified. So you want to focus on developing your skills. And how do you develop your skills? You listen to things like this. You listen to the uh, Ray Higgins of the world and the Eric Worries and the Jim Rohns, right? And, and uh, the Larry Thompsons, if you're in the network marketing industry or whatever, whatever industry that you're in, you want to keep adding to that skill set, right? And as you add those tools to the skill set, guess what happens? Your confidence goes up, okay? So number one, focus on the skill. Number two, um, be willing to be a little messy and not perfect. Things are not going to be perfect, guys, as you're doing this. It's a, it's a learning curve, right? But getting started and being messy is one of the best recommendations um, that I can recommend to anybody. The worst thing that you can do is say, hey, I got to have this perfect. Hey, Rich, I got to have this perfect in order for me to start. No, 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 no. The best way to do it is get started, right? And you don't eat the elephant in, in, in one bite. You eat in tiny little bites, okay? You figure little things out as you go. In fact, I tell anyone I bring in on my team um, and they ask about certain things. I'll give you an example. They ask, hey, what's the best way to do a three-way call? And I said to them, do you have someone to do a three-way call with? And they said, no, not yet. I said, well, don't worry about it then. <laughs> right. So we'll worry about that as you come to it. But things are going to be a little messy. You, you may screw some things up, but it, it's, it's the fact of taking one step in front of the other. Right. Moving ahead, pushing that stone forward every day and getting better every single day. Um, and that's how you grow. So there's no problem being messy. Right. And when I say messy, not perfect. Right. You're not going to be 
the same person a year from now as you are right now. You're going to be much better. Things are going to be a lot more honed in. You're going to be a lot more honed in five years from now than you are a year from now, and so on and so forth. That sword is going to continually be sharpened. But when you start, don't worry about being messy. That's how you're cutting your teeth. That's how you're getting better. That's how you're improving your confidence. That's how you're improving your skill, okay? So be willing to be a little messy and, uh, and understand that things won't be perfect right away, okay? Figure it out along the way. Number three, and the, and the last one, be emotionally prepared to be embarrassed. In other words, not knowing something. If someone asks you something after the presentation, you don't know the answer, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Say, hey, I, I, I'm not sure about the answer to that, but I'll find out and get right back to you. No problem. It's no problem. Don't worry about, oh gosh, what if I get embarrassed or what, you know, what if they don't think that, you know, uh, I'm a top person in this company or um, that I'm not making a gazillion dollars yet or whatever the case may be, or if someone's negative or whatever the case may be, don't worry about being embarrassed. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. We're all grown ups. We're all, we're all big people. We can handle it, right? You just handle it, right? You don't know the answer. You just handle it. You're not sure what to do in a certain situation. Say, hey, I got to check with my business partner. I'll get right back to you on that. We'll figure it out. So you'll figure those things out and that will be in your toolbox, right? Um, the, the, one of the biggest things that I love, um, this gives you, when, when you don't have to be worried about being embarrassed, it, it, it gives you permission not to be, that you don't have to be perfect, okay? No one's perfect. The, the prospect that you're showing the opportunity to is not perfect, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? So those three things, focus on improving your skills, be willing to be a little bit messy and things don't have to be perfect, in other words, and number three, be emotionally prepared to be embarrassed and just handle it. It's no big deal. And if you guys got a lot out of that, as I said in the beginning, I have six phenomenal tips um, to improve your confidence and skills that are just absolutely on point. So just reach out to me personally on Messenger or on Instagram or wherever you're seeing this YouTube, and I will be sure to get those to you. Happy Wealth Wednesday. Be, uh, make sure you do something special uh, for a stranger that involves a financial, transa tr financial transaction. Make the difference in someone's life, whether it's getting coffee for the person behind you, paying for the gas, the, the guy next to you, putting some money in a diaper box in the grocery store, whatever it is. Uh, give back, make a difference. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.